Hi guys and girls, long time no see. Uh, I've been kind of flat out busy with homework, but um, hopefully I'll be back for a little while. Uh, I'm going to try and update as often as possible, but you know, things can't be helped. Now, this was a indie horror game that was suggested to me by its creator. I'm sorry, your name has currently slipped my mind. Very sorry, I will put the name underneath. <laughs> um, but thank you for this. This looks pretty cool and the music sounds really nice. So let us see. Ooh, mouse out of screen. Spin around. Okay. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt the same primal excitement yesterday in the cellar. Uh -huh. The only thing I got to go by is that that little square gets a bit bigger. Okay. Wandering on. Let's just check this out. What do we got here? I have no idea what this game is really about. No, can't touch that, I guess. I'm just kind of going by feel here, guys. Oh. Appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changing. Changeable, sorry. Mm, can't read. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay. This game that hasn't given me a lot to kind of go. Whoa, I have a light! A lot to kind of go on. Oh no, I can actually see shit. Yes, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is made on the Unity engine. Quite a pretty job though. What are you? No shells of some sort. Um, it is quite pretty. I don't know why I'd use my stepdaughter's name as the door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Charming fellow. What's over here? Do, 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 do. No. Is it not there? Keep. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I'm distract I distracted her with TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. Couldn't write anything more than the useful, usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. But I, because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. All right, so I'm assuming Katie is the stepdaughter. So we had to get in a door, but I could I can I can I can I can I touch you? Can I use you? What was this is the door you started at W A S D Type case somewhere. Hmm. Pondering, pondering, pondering. Well, I could catch you guys up on what I've been doing while I've been pondering. I've had so many people around for Easter. I've had so much homework that I've had to catch up on that I've been losing my mind. Which is why you haven't been seeing as many posts from me. I currently am only able to put them up when I can. Oh, a button! Ah ha what is Oh, it must be like a generator. Ah, oh, we had my power. But yes, I typed out a whole assignment and then 
managed to lose the whole assignment. Clever girl. Ha! Katie. I'm hoping that was right. Um, I'm assuming this was the thing that I needed. It's a K and I use with a capital K. Um, yes, so that was quite stressful. Exit because there was only this door which goes back to the uh, menu or the exit of the game. Ooh, lovely. As I was saying, like this is actually quite a good job on the Unity engine. Usually, uh, the pixelated things like you can do amazing things with pixelated things, but it has to be very well done to be quite creepy. Um, finally happened, the whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I have been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I have needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane society, social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. boxed everything up that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific ed edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them. Any blood? Why blood? <clears throat> tea. Tea. Like tea. I'm assuming you are locked. Yes, you are. You are locked too. see this outside world now that it's all um, messed up out there. I don't know what I did, did it? Oh, hey, Lynn, open the door. Thank you, Lynn. This is not a comfortable room. Ooh, blood and things, I think. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we barely enough wood. We barely enough we're barely able to find food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. Bastard. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Hello? Or is that her crying? 
Mean, mean man. Okay, what's this? The, there are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires up, locked up anymore. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I, I don't like where this is going. What did you do? I changed the storage code to something I can easily remember N N Y the rest of the word is missing. Is that Lynn backwards? You are obsessed with your ex-wife, buddy. Really? You're obsessed. Hi little girl. Turn your head. Can you the steps? Why was I suddenly going slow? That's a eh, eh, that means yes, you got it right. I don't know, unless it's a well, it's, it's the sound that's done every other time. of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because of my genes and demand because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They all used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion, and here I am, the last man on earth, all I know, ready to be free from. Okay. There's a button. Press the button. Did the button, did the button open the trap door? I'm worried about what you did to the door. Why there's a sink and cutting instruments down there. That worries me. Hmm. Did the button do something upstairs? Because I can't get that. Let's get up upstairs. I seem to go awfully slow just around that corner, and it scares me because I think that something's about to go. Bleh! that hatch open? What is this? Turnouts? The cellar is freedom. Okay, so if I put freedom in the keyboard, guesstimating, freedom. I'm assuming. Why were there turnouts? blood in there to wear away. I think this guy's not quite right. From the way that his stuff sounds. This is unnerving. There's only enough food for one. So she's gonna die anyway. I'm free now. Freedom. It took all the end of her. Oh. finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. 
That wasn't toenails, that was her fingers! Oh. I am content in the knowledge that I have done nothing for you. Fucking creep. What, what? The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flick of the flashlight died and he was left in pitch dark. He sat down on the floor and he could still hear her even now it was peaceful there in the cellar. It was free there in the cellar. Is that it? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's it. No, no. I guess that's it. Well, there you have it, guys and girls. That was finger bones. Um, yeah, I will put a link to this in the description. It's on Game Jolt. Um, it was quite a good play. Uh, interesting. The atmosphere is definitely there. It could be a little bit longer. It seems more like a demo game rather than an actual game. Um, but. For what it was, it was actually really cool and creepy. Uh, those things being her fingers. Mm. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you have a good night or a good day. Whatever the heck it is, whatever the heck you guys are. Bye.